Hey guys, what's going on? Bass Menace here. I'm back with another Starbound update video for you all. This is an upcoming patch. Um, Starbound patch prepares for daily content updates. Add Smooth McGroove. So there's a new Starbound patch, this one called Enraged Koala. Rather than having anything to do with incandescent marsupials, though, this update comes with a hint of Amour, bringing both Valentine's items and the acapella crooning of YouTube's Smooth McGroove. I've never heard of this guy before, but apparently he does like acapella covers of old Nintendo games and SNES games, all those classic games, and they're actually really awesome, so that's cool. They're adding some of his acapella sounds into the game. Uh, the update also improves the early access sandbox's uh, patching system, allowing the Chucklefish team to push out new game content on an almost daily basis. That seems like a lot of content, so that's pretty awesome. I doubt it would be actually every day, but they said almost daily, so I'm guessing it's going to be pretty frequent. This update should also pave the way for a stable world system, allowing the developers to add biomes and make changes to worlds without the need for a wipe. Chucklefish admit that there will likely be one more world wipe before the system is finalized. They said no wipes though, last video they said no wipes at all, but I I was kind of doubted that as well. They shouldn't promise that though, because there's going to be another wipe probably. But stress that characters and ships are still safe, uh, so that's a good thing I guess. And uh, while an early issue with the patch did cause ship containers to be erased, the developers have since issued a hotfix. Uh, you can find the full patch list below. Uh, Valentine's Day items including swords, costumes, decorations, bow, etc. Kinda late for Valentine's Day items, isn't it? Oh well. Engine feature. Tech can now be granted by armors. That's pretty cool. Key binding reconfiguration minus the UI. You can reconfigure keys through a config file. Check here for a tutorial. Server stability fixes for servers with many players. New death animations. You can read some of the patches here. Doesn't look like a ton of stuff's being added in this patch so far, but they plan to add a lot more. Dogs can now be captured. Lots more pets coming soon. Um, new actually sounds good microphone instrument with sounds provided by Smooth McGroove. And a bug where warping to magma slash volcano biomes caused crashing was fixed. So that's good news. Um, here's what the microphone's gonna sound like, I guess. <laughs> Sounds kinda nice. I actually never tried the microphone, so I'm not sure what it sounded like before, but I think I found one. I'll give the link to this patch note, you can check it out if you want to yourself. I also wanted to share something that the Starbound developers shared on their website and on Facebook. Uh, this is some cool news on the game. So today we spent our Sunday having a long five hours design discussion in which we are penciling in the finer details of the game's progression. As we said before, the current progression is entirely temporary, existing to provide temporary gameplay whilst we work on the engine. Today I want to share more with you about the game's new structure in the beginning of the game. First of all, we're removing different universe sectors. In the final game there will only be three sectors. The sector, um, the sector the majority of the game takes place in, a PvP sector, and a creative sector without dangers. So that's what they're planning to do. There's some more info here, but basically um, they want to take out the design of the sectors they have now, like sectors they're like five different sectors. Instead of progressing through the game sector by sector, they want you to be able to advance by upgrading your tech to allow you to visit planets that were otherwise inaccessible due to hazards. An example being a planet with no breathable air. So instead of doing the just traveling to different sectors and going to planets yourself, I guess they'll want you to maybe get some tech to go to, to uh, lava planets or snow planets or something else. They want to change the game in its current state since it is just an early access alpha. 
so it's very early on in the game so there will probably be a lot of changes throughout its um throughout its growth um i really like starbound i think it's improved a lot since its launch they've added quite a lot and changed quite a few things and uh, i'm going to be uploading more on my channel i'm still pretty early on in the game i haven't checked out everything in the game yet i've been playing a lot of different games so so yeah i hope you guys found this video helpful please like comment and subscribe and i will catch you guys later peace